मैम आई हैव रेड एन सी आर टी फॉर फाइव टू सिक्स टाइम्स बट आई डोंट नो फ्रॉम विच पार्ट ऑफ एन सी आर टी दीज क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग फ्रॉम आई एम नॉट एबल टू रिकॉल एंड रिट्रीव द इन्फॉर्मेशन मैम देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स इन एन सी आर टी वट डू आई डू नाउ आई हैव ऑल दीज आंसर्स फॉर यू नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू विच इज द बेस्ट वे ऑफ रीडिंग एन सी आर टी स्पेशली इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एज यू ऑल नो नीट इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री मीन्स एन सी आर टी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन डायरेक्ट लाइन so now let us see which is the correct way but uh, when you are going to read the ncert for the very first time the very first chapter that you are going to read for the first time what you are going to focus on what should you read right there are two types of things in inorganic chemistry first is block chemistry second is conceptual chemistry so in block chemistry main important point is trends exceptional trends so some of the exceptional trends will be there in the paragraphs but some of the exceptional trends or the normal trends also will be hidden in the graphs and the tables as you can see from here now this is the table from dnf block you can see there are so many trends that are hidden here you don't need to remember the values here you need to remember the trends that are mentioned in the tables as well as the graphs here like which is the highest peak point which is the lowest peak points all these things are very very important when it comes to inorganic chemistry then when we talk about conceptual chemistry conceptual inorganic chemistry like chemical bonding coordination chemistry here you need to understand what are the examples given in that ncert book direct examples will be asked in your neat exam and also the main important point throughout the chemistry is application and importance that is given in the end right also the summary points here right for example if i talk about this paragraph from this particular paragraph that is application of dnf block elements directly there are so many question that will be asked directly that will be just one that will take you one to two seconds to solve that thing right so direct questions from these each and every line will be provided to you in the question right so these are the three main things that you need to focus when you are reading in organic chemistry right now second thing is ma'am how do i make notes what to do with this ncert how do i recall things here so the best way to recall things is first you need to understand that you need to summarize these points you need to highlight these points right that means you need to make a short notes out of it in the form of pointers right first you need to highlight that on the ncert then make your own short notes right hand written short notes in some notebook little notebook on some small page right after that what you need to do second time when you read that you need to recall it yourself right just the notes now first time ncert is done now you read the ncert second time it's not the same thing that you're going to apply no now what you're going to do you need to form the questions yourself you need to make the questions like assertion reasoning questions statement based questions yourself write it down there on the ncert or some other notebook there right make at least 20 to 30 questions from each chapter that is very important right now after doing that you need to also don't write the answers right don't write the answers there just make the questions part there and when you read it for the third time what you need to do you need to recall the answers here okay just read out the question and recall the answer yourself now what will happen there will be some questions that you will be able to answer there will be some questions that you will not be able to answer right so you just mark those questions that you are not able to answer and then again read the ncert and see which part you are not able to recall then focus on that particular part and trust me on that in these three times if you apply this method three times when you read ncert fourth time you will know each and every single line of ncert and you can answer all the questions that are directly from ncert this is the best way of doing that also let me know if you want because physical chemistry and organic chemistry have a totally different approach when you talk about reading ncert they have a totally different approach so let me know in the comment section if you want something that is that is going to tell you that uh, how to read ncert for physical chemistry and for organic chemistry what are the important points that you need to focus on while reading physical and organic chemistry from ncert now before that students you also know that we are just 10 months away from neat exam right 
So now this is a very crucial point. I would advise all of you not to take any risk if you are thinking of joining a offline center. Then we have Vedantu Learning Centers for you. In these Vedantu Learning Centers, why they are so special? Because first thing, you will get the top faculties here. That too you already know, right? That is why you are here watching this video. Second thing is, beta, you will have dedicated academic mentor. That is, you will have your own personal mentor that is going to focus on which were your marks, what, where is your graph going, what is your efficiency in the test and uh, how you are, you know, uh, solving the problems. What is the teacher's uh, uh, review on your performance? So your academic mentor is going to focus on all these things and guide you in that how to resolve all these problems, how to be perfect in what you do. Then, Bacha, you will have smart clickers because in the class you will have quizzes, you will have leaderboards. So for that, you will have smart clickers in the offline class itself. Then, Bacha, very, very important point that is three-way doubt solving. Now, ma'am, what is this three-way doubt solving? Very simple. For example, I'm a very shy student. I used to be a very shy student. So I always used to like, I don't want to ask this doubt in the class, what everybody will think about me, that I don't know this answer. Some of the students are like that. Some of the students can ask that directly. Some of the students cannot ask that, right? So what you can do, even if you're not able to, firstly, the teachers will make you so much comfortable with them that you will be able to ask them. But somehow, if you're not able to ask the questions in the class, you can ask the questions after the class to the teacher itself or you will have a dedicated doubt corners. Doubt corners in the offline center. After the class, you can go to the doubt corners. You will have your teachers there. They will be specially there to answer your doubts. You can ask all the doubts to those teachers, right? Now, when I get home, then I'm like, okay, oh my God, I'm solving this question. I'm not able to answer this. I need someone to solve this for me, someone to explain this for me. So what do you do in that? So any time of the day, you can video call any teacher on Vedantu Doubt app. That will be provided to all the Vedantu Learning Center offline students. Vedantu Learning app access will be access will be given to you. Now in that, what you can do, you can just uh, uh, upload your doubt there and you can video call teachers and you can ask the doubts in detailed manner and they will answer your doubts any time of the day. I think personally, this is the best thing uh, that can we that we can provide to any student out there because the problem is not learning the concepts the problem is not understanding all the things the problem is solving the questions and the doubts that students face because nobody is there in nobody no teacher right is there in other centers that is going to focus on okay even after the class is student able to uh, answer all the questions or not but we are here to tell you that even after the class, you will have the doubt solvers who are going to solve your doubts. That is the best way. So don't lose this opportunity because this is the last batch of NEET, uh, NEET 2025 in offline centers. After this, Labus is going to, you know, shoot up and then you will, you know, feel left behind. So I don't want you to face that. So uh, there are centers in Pune. You can look up the map. I will uh, tell you the map in the Telegram channel also, right? You can look up the map and see uh, nearby centers that are near to your house and then decide which center you want to go to. Okay then, Bacha, I hope you like this video. Don't uh, hesitate to share this video with your friends because sharing is caring. And also comment down below how you like this video and if you want more such videos like this. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care. See you. Jai Hind.